what is going on guys? It's your boy sister here, bringing us a Photoshop tutorial, bringing us a cool little updated overlay tutorial today. I really, really enjoy this kind of like, uh, this kind of like twist I've been putting on my, uh, my overlays lately, so I want to show you guys how I've been doing them. So, uh, if you guys didn't see already, I'm gonna, I showed you guys in the beginning of the video uh, what exactly I'm going to be doing in today's video. So if you guys, have, I don't know if you guys really like what I've been doing lately, I'm just putting, I've been putting the exact... Uh, the, I guess the end result of the current video that you watch in the beginning of the video which kind of like gives you guys the hint of what you're gonna be learning exactly in the tutorial so I don't know if you guys enjoy it or not but just let me know in the comment section below anyways we're gonna be starting on this video immediately so don't forget guys 200 likes on this video equals a secret down below and I believe tomorrow which is like a, I don't know Friday this is uploaded tomorrow which will be Saturday uh, we're gonna hit, almost hit uh, 41k so that's insane I told you, we're growing so fast, so for all the new people that are here, uh, even if you subscribe to me months after this video was uploaded, thank you guys so much. Anyway, let's get going. Right, so let's get going. Let's get let's, yeah, let's just get going. Alright, cool. So, we're going to make a new layer, and pretty much we're going to start off with uh, making the base of the overlay, which is like the most important part, because you don't want to have it too big, too skinny, and maybe not too long either. I don't, I, don't, I don't feel like, you know, you should have overlays that extend all the way through the entire screen of, you know, because it's going to cover either uh, gameplay or it's going to cover either uh, the video that you have below the overlay. Um, prior to that, by the way, just so you guys know really quickly how to save and um, the dimensions of what I have in this PS, uh, this document file right here. So it's file new. My document size that I use for overlays is 1280 by 720p pixels at 200, uh, 200 resolution. You can use 1980 by, what is it, 1980 by 1280, I think. Uh, I think it is. I'm not uh, too sure. But I have had no issues with 1280 by 720p. But some people would say 1980 by 1280 is better. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. I think it's just because of scaling. But usually it doesn't really matter because it's like OBS and like, you know, most streaming softwares are video, uh, you know, editing softwares will help it, you know, screen without any uh, issues. Anyway, other than that, that's how you would uh, place your, um, this is the document size, excuse me, and then to uh, save the overlay, really quickly, let's just say that this uh, was the overlay, this little white bar, and we have the overlay here with a whole bunch of layers on it, whatever. To save it, all I gotta do is basically just remove the background of the overlay. So I'm just gonna say remove the background of the overlay PSD, excuse me. So which is gonna be this one right now. For me, it would be probably be your locked layer that says background. Otherwise, I, I name mine sometimes. I put like my uh my at on it. But you remove it so it has the checkerboards at the back of it. And then pretty much to save it as my favorite quality is uh, save for web, file save for web, and then PNG 24. And then you would just press OK and save it. That's how I would save my overlays. That's how I think you guys should as well. So there you guys go. You know how to save it and how to open uh, a nice document size for it. Okay. Excuse me. So on this new layer again, Control Shift N to make a new layer, or this little page down here. <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and just take the M and our keyboard, which is the rectangle marking tool for the base, and to pretty much do this is I'm gonna just select from the top left and I'm gonna click outside the area and then just drag in. You'll see this comes up. And pretty much, I don't want to go over 20 height. You see the W and the H on the, uh, the, the like, I guess the right-hand side of the mouse right here. I say try not to go over 20, which is, I think it's a little too big. Um, obviously, it's personal preference. I don't say, I, I would say try not to go too big. Um, just the sleeker it looks, the better it looks, I think. Um, so there we go. We're going to put it at 20. And then possibly the width, maybe I just... 3.0 that, that looks pretty good so there we go that's my base like i said i want to make it too crazy maybe if i would like to to go like really keen into it i would take uh maybe like a ruler and put it in the middle and see where the middle is because maybe this is just like really close to the middle i can just put it in the middle either way it's fine this is how i want it so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click on uh on the selection just move it to the middle that way it's a little bit easier for me to work with all right cool just like so and then now we're going to select the color, which I already have the color that I want to use, which is this right here. The hex code for this blue that I'm using is OF476D. And so pretty much, I would try to keep it a dark skin color. Please try to keep it a dark skin color just because when you're going to be, what we're going to be doing in this video is going to be using overlays and screens and pretty much like gradient overlays to like give this one tone color, multiple tones of color, which looks really, really nice in the, uh, at the end of it. So please try to use a darker color. Like I'm using this hex code right here. You can use it and this blue and then maybe just change the color with a uh, hue and saturation. Uh, other than that, press OK. And when you fill your color in, uh, for me, it's going to be control backspace because that's my background color. If you choose it with your foreground color, you can choose it with your foreground color or you can right click, fill, uh, drop down, use color to also choose your color as well. So pretty much, I'm gonna press Control D or right click deselect to, to uh, deselect that little rectangle marquee tool, and then pretty much you're ready to go. So I'm gonna rename this layer as Base, and I'm gonna go ahead 
and make another new layer and pretty much any other layer that I have right now is going to be always clipping mask so just remember whenever you're making an overlay or anything that has like something over a screen make sure you have everything else overlaid even if it's like if it's like the tiniest like stock make sure because it's going to show up on the overlay it's going to show up as a overlay on the video or the stream that you're on or whatever so please make sure you clip mask everything which is basically clicking on a new layer right click and clip mask it that's all I gotta do so I'm gonna name this half highlight because that's what's gonna be so I'm gonna call it let's call it half for now whatever press M on my keyboard again which is gonna give me the rectangle mark tool again I'm gonna go ahead and just click and drag and I'm just gonna just select basically half of the rectangle here I'm gonna press right click fill drop down use color press ok right click deselect and then just change this half layer to overlay and about 25 opacity and you're ready to get started so this is gonna give us a first good set of what we're gonna have these two different colors so I'm gonna go at it again I'm gonna get another new layer we're just gonna call this uh, split one I don't know why that brackets there I did it again boom all right we're gonna take our pen tool this time uh, this time so it's gonna press P on your keyboard just like so or this little uh, light bulb looking thing here and by the way if yours comes up as a crosshair all you gotta do is press caps lock to get the point and I'm gonna just click once over here and I'm just gonna click and draw uh, I'm not click and drag but I'm gonna click maybe over here so maybe like a little halfway over like where the uh, base is this is the half I guess like I'm gonna guess this is where like half of the uh, baseline is right now I'm gonna hold control and click on this point and go a little beyond the halfway mark and I'm gonna just go around circle around and then click and connect and right click fill path drop down use white again delete uh, delete path once you have this, you just want to change this to overlay, which is going to give you some nice little overlay, uh, little secondary, I guess third color now. And we're going to just put a nice little inner shadow on this. So we're going to double click on the layer, inner shadow, and we're just going to go ahead and just uncheck global light, go to angle, put about 90 degrees, and we're just going to change the distance to, I think, 165, and that should be a good angle. And then I'm probably going to turn the opacity all the way up to 100. All right, after you're done with this, we're going to make another new layer. And we're going to do, I guess, where I put my logo at. So I, on my original, you guys probably saw in the beginning, I put my logo in the bottom right. So I, either like your most important like icon or something, like I said, like my logo. Or if you don't, if you want to make what I'm going to be doing in a second a little bigger and put like maybe if you only have one social media, maybe you'll put that one social media inside this area that I'm going to do in a second. Or basically like, just use it as a main attraction. Like you, you want it to be like your main spot. So it's going to be the most vibrant, the most noticeable. So I'm just going to call this logo spot for now. I'm going to use the pen tool again, and I want to make sure I go through this little angle, this little uh, 90 degree angle over here. I'm just going to click, maybe like so, then not, just a nice little triangle basically. I'll make sure I go with that angle right there. Alright, cool. I'm going to go around, oops, wrong way, around this way, right click, fill path, but this time I'm going to drop down and use a color. Because what we're going to do in a second is going to be using screen, so we have to have around the same color. So I'm going to click over here, which is going to give me the same exact color that I have on my base with one of the darker tone shadows. And I'm just going to lower it just a little bit more. So like, just, I don't know, just a tad bit more. So it's like a little darker where it's like kind of hard to see the color. Press OK. This will work for me. Right click, de delete path. And pretty much, uh, it's a little too small for me. I would have it a little bit bigger. It's going gonna, it's gonna to bother me if it's not a little bit bigger. Right click fill color delete path and pretty much I'm gonna change this now to screen I'm gonna double click on this layer really quickly and right away if I put a global uh, excuse me a gradient overlay and I change this blend mode to I think soft light and change my opacity down to about I'll say 75 what would overlay look like maybe overlay right I think it looks better right overlay and as well as an inner shadow I'm gonna change my uh, uncheck my global light go back to my angle change it to 90 and then in my distance, I want to put 165 and as well as a 100 opacity. Uh, is that works for me? I think so. Maybe I, I kind of want to play with this just a little bit. Uh, I'm not too sure if I like it. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Maybe if I change my angle to 120, will that look better? I'm not too sure. Maybe that looks okay. Let me zoom out for a second. So, all right, that's fine. That looks pretty good. I don't, I put my inner shadow to 226 and 100 opacity for now. I can always change it if I wish to, and if I don't like it, 
I would just change it right now, but I kind of I don't want to mess with it too much, waste too much of your time. But pretty much that's gonna be my logo spot. That's gonna be my what I put my logo. And like I said, when I put this on screen, rather than overlay, if I put it on overlay, it won't really show up. It'll show up as a darker tone. We want to keep it like a nice even, uh, different tones of the color. So screen works for me because I also chose the uh, the original color of the uh, the little triangle that I did was a darker tone of this like uh, color right here. So as well as with the uh, the the gradient overlay. It just gave it like a nice little glow to it, which looks very, very nice. And pretty much, I'm not just liking the. I want to fix the distance of the inner shadow. I think it's just not working for me. All right, that looks better. 105. That looks pretty good. All right, cool. Done with that now. It's gonna bother me. It was gonna bother me, so I'm gonna fix it. All right, I'm gonna make another new layer now, and it's gonna be our last one. I'm just gonna call it the last split. I'm gonna take my pen tool again, go through this one corner over here, and I'm just gonna move it so that this also goes a little halfway over there. Let me make sure this goes through this little angle. And I'm just gonna go around, connect it, right click, fill path, drop down, use white, press okay, delete the path, and then pretty much it's a, like a rinse and repeat kind of thing. But when I put this on overlay, it's gonna finally give us that like very clean look. Come on, put it on overlay. Give us a nice clean look, or it just looks very, very nice. I just love how this looks. You can play around with the opacity of all the other ones, but I'm just, I think this looks very, very clean. I just love how it looks. I'm going to put my logo in it really quickly. The bottom left, or the bottom right, excuse me. Boom. My logo right there. Put it on maybe overlay. Would that work? Or screen? No? No, I think want to work. All right, I can just keep it white. Well, I'll just keep the logo white. I'm just going to change the color to white. And then maybe I'll put it on overlay. Let's change that to color to white. Oops. Rasterize it and then put it on overlay maybe. That looks a lot better, yes. I love how this looks. This just looks a lot cleaner, just a lot more like I like I tried on this. Like it looks better, it looks not so crazy. But if you guys wanna put either more detail on it, I'm gonna show you guys on a second a little trick that I do. So if you guys like how this looks, this is clean, this is very nice, this is how you want it, that's fine. What I'm gonna do really quickly is I'm just gonna use any font really. I'm just gonna type in, what is it? I think it's tall bold. Uh, tall bolder is what I use. I'm just gonna type in something like a long word maybe, like graphic designer. I don't know, it, I, it doesn't really have to even spell anything. I'm just gonna make sure, I'm gonna use this, uh, as, um, to just, uh, I'm gonna use this VA thing. This is a split VA. If you don't know how to bring this table up, it's just uh, highlighting your entire text with Control A, and then pressing Control T to bring this table up. And this VA splits your letters. So that's what I'm gonna do just right now. You saw me do that. And pretty much I'm gonna place this in the middle. And like I said, it doesn't have to spell anything. This is a little trick that I do. I'm gonna rasterize this layer. Rasterize this layer. Uh, filter blur, motion blur, and just motion blur this about 90 pixels or so. Maybe that'll work. Yeah, right. 90 pixels. Put it on overlay, and then right away you get this very sleek, like very, I don't know, it just looks so good. This is a simple little design or a little texture, I guess you can say, on the overlay itself, which is looks beautiful, looks really nice. And then pretty much the end result is all up to you. Like I said, you can put other stocks on it, uh, uh, brush packs from my, my 40K brush pack, you wanna put all the stocks on those, you can put that there as well. I'm just gonna type Sesso HQ in uh, with zero, change this back to zero. Boom, and then maybe just change this to three. That'll work, the size. And of course, like I said, anything you put on this overlay is all up to you. And if you, like I said, any other things, like if I wanted to put, um, duh, 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 like if I wanted to put on the first living mask, if I wanna put the brushes, some of the brushes on it, maybe look cool on it, I'm not quite sure if it'll look good. Um, in this kind of setting, I don't know, something like a little splat of paint, of why not, right? It's pretty cool. Why not, right? And put this on overlay. Maybe it'll look cool. So this is like endless. Of course, you can modify this as much as you want and make it as your own. But I think this is a very nice style. It looks a lot cleaner than what I've, I've done previously. So I really wanted to show you guys the process of showing you uh, how I did my overlays nowadays. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. 200 likes on this video equals a secret down below. Don't forget to check out my self fi selfie.com slash SOHQ, as well as follow me on Twitter at SessoHQ, everything's at SessoHQ, everything beautiful. All right, cool, thank you guys so much for 41K, and I'm gonna go enjoy myself, probably like right now I'm swimming, all that cool stuff. Make sure you guys enjoy yourself too, enjoy the rest of your summer and the rest of your day. Peace, SessoHQ out, later.